This is CNN Breaking News. Hello, I'm Catherine Calloway at the CNN Center in Atlanta with breaking news from South Africa. There has been a huge explosion in downtown Johannesburg near the ANC headquarters. A number of people have been in injured. Mark Watts is standing by in South Africa with more. Mark, what can you tell us? Catherine, the scene of great chaos continues in the downtown Johannesburg area. We have a confirmed report of one, possibly two bombings in the downtown Johannesburg city center area, about two or three miles from us here behind us. It was apparently a car bombing that was caused, uh, that caused a huge explosion in a two square block area. There we see some of the injured. There are reports of at least six injured. The blast coincided with the last official day of campaigning here in the first all race elections in South African history. The injured were rushed to hospitals and witnesses said several buildings were damaged as well as several cars that were in the area at the time. Most of the buildings and offices in downtown Johannesburg were closed this morning, but an African National Congress spokesman has confirmed for us that a voter registration drive was scheduled to begin at ANC regional headquarters at the time, and the bomb occurred within a one square block area of the ANC regional headquarters. The incident is a departure, a marked departure, from the calm we've seen in the past week and in the pre-election violence since the Nkata Freedom Party, led by Mongo Sutu Budalese, joined the election last week. Saturday, however, there was an explosion near a gas line in a rural area about 50 miles south of Johannesburg. No one was injured in that bombing, but police do expect white extremists in that bombing. But, however, there is no speculation as to who is to blame or who is responsible for this bombing. Once again, Six injured, at least six. The injury toll could get higher in one, possibly two explosions in downtown Johannesburg. We are attempting to get some eyewitness reports uh, from the scene. We do hope to get those soon, and we will update scene and viewers as that information becomes available. Once again, six people injured. The injury toll could grow higher. We do have those reports of eyewitnesses Let's listen in on what they are saying about this morning's bombing. And I heard a massive blast. I heard uh, glass shattering and flying. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I just had to come help. I'm a sixth year medical student. Can you tell me? We stabilized uh, three patients. The two of them are going into shock. Do you know any more? Any how many more are injured? It's I've now at least uh, two down there, but minor injuries. We're now five. These are serious. Yeah, two. Yeah, these are serious. But we should get to an hospital by time. Can you tell me, do you know, was it Shell House? I'm not quite sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, Where were you? No, go for the garden in front. Just standing there then. It went off. Dust. How, how big a blast was it? Big, everything. Cars, businesses, shops, everything is stuffed up. Nothing left. Cafe where I was, everything is up. We are attempting to confirm if it was two explosions. We do know for sure that it was one, and police do say it was caused by a car bombing. And once again, the explosion coincides with the last official day of campaigning here in the first all-race elections in South African history. The major candidates have scheduled large, large rallies in various parts of uh, South Africa. We will update you, Catherine, with more information as it becomes available. Until then, I'm Mark Watts reporting live in Johannesburg. All right, thank you. And as Mark said, we will have more information on this situation in South Africa as it becomes available. I'm Catherine Calloway in Atlanta.